Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson. This is your NBC 26 News Update. Wisconsin continues to move forward with its vaccination efforts. The state is approaching 1 million people who have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. According to DHS, 986,000 people have received at least one dose. That's almost 17% of Wisconsinites. The figure on the left-hand side of your screen. Meantime, nearly 10% of our population in Wisconsin has finished the series. The Milwaukee Brewers have been given the green light to start the season at 25% capacity of fans inside the ballpark by the Milwaukee Health Department. In addition to mask wearing and social distancing, fans can only watch the game from their assigned seats and all food and drinks need to be enjoyed in the seats as well. No eating or drinking in the concourse or in line. No tailgating is set to be allowed. Opening day is April 1st. The Oneida Nation and the City of Green Bay have partnered in what's called a shared services agreement. Leaders say it's for a variety of services in each respective government, and they say it will be a benefit for years to come. Time now for a check of our weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moore. Cameron. John, we had cooler readings across the area today. Highs were mainly in the mid-30s seasonable exactly where we should be for this time of year but we are going to see a dramatic warm-up starting tomorrow back into the 40s we'll see 40s on saturday upper 40s to lower 50s on sunday lots of sunshine all three days mostly sunny and even warmer on monday getting close to 60 degrees and then much of the area probably seeing highs into the 60s for tuesday and wednesday a cold front on wednesday bring us a chance for our next precipitation in the form of rain Highs in the 60s, lows near 50, obviously, and then a little bit cooler on Thursday. Have a great night, everybody.